Hello everyone! In this short video, we will be looking at how we can create a choropleth map to assess um, Noel Crassy's 1993 work on statistics for spatial data. It deals with a data set looking at sudden infant death syndrome and has 100 North Carolina counties in it over two time periods that are labeled SID 74 and SID 79. The first thing we are going to do is open up Toyota and we will open with this icon over here. We'll just open up a shapefile where our SIDS shapefile is located. And the first thing I like to do when I open up a shapefile is to press on the fourth icon on your Geoda bar, which shows you and gives you a very nice overview of all of the different variables. So as you can see, we've got here the births 74 and healing all the births that existed in 74. And we have births 79 We've got also non-white birds, 74, non-white birds, 79, and the cases of SID in 74 and 79. So by pressing variable settings, you have quite a simple overview of all of the variables in your data set. So let's just cancel that out. The first thing we want to do is to create a quantile map for the non-white births of 1974. I should mention that this exercise is based on the Geoda workbook by Luke Anselin in 2004. The Geoda workbook is, by the way, a great source, but some of the methods they propose are a little bit outdated. So some of the menu interfaces have changed compared to the newer versions. Anyway, the first thing we will do is we will navigate to map. And in map, we will press quantile map. And in quantile map, we will choose the non-white words. That's NWBIR74 variable. Just click on it and press OK. Now, you will be asked how many classes for your core path map you, have, you want to have. Let's keep it to four. And a new map is automatically created showing the distribution of non-white births in 1974. So the same way we created our non-white births in 74, we will create now our sudden infant deaths for the same time period. To do this, we will just go again to map, quantile map, and choose this time the variable SID 74, sudden infant death in 74. Number of classes, we'll keep the same, and we'll click OK. So what we get as a result is another quantile choropleth map and you will notice that the quantile of SID 74 is very similar to the choropleth of non-white births in 74. So this exercise shows you how to create choropleth maps, but it should also bring you up with two problems that we can have from this interpretation. The first problem is that, in fact, the choropleth map that you have is looking at the simple count of non-white births and the count of SID 74. This is rather inappropriate as you can imagine the number of population count such as the total population will not give you a knowledge of the density that exists within a certain geographical area given the population size or the area that this entails. The second problem is related to the fact that we have in our SID 74 
a Poisson kind of distribution. So the low values of 0, 1, and 2 containing this class mm, are not adequately broken off in the quartile breaks. So while Karoklev maps can be very useful for visualizing the distributions of variables, one should be very careful in the way this distribution shows pertinent information and several methods of Karoklev maps must be applied to allow a better visualization of the aggregation of colors. So one of the things that could be do done to avoid this misrepresentation of the different quantiles would be to choose a map that would have a standard deviation. So to do a standard deviation map, we choose instead of uh, the, the quantile map in the car path, we choose our standard deviation map and we use again the SID 74 variable. As you will see, the information is quite different and certainly not to be mistaken with the quartile quantile map that we created before. Thank you very much for watching this video.